good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another awesome lesson. Today, we're going to play with Thingiverse, and the lesson's going to be called Five Things. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. Well, this lesson starts by us actually going to Thingiverse, type Thingiverse, and hit search. And when it shows up, click it, and then make sure you're signed in from the other day. When you hit sign in, remember we most often used our school passwords. If you missed the sign in, I'll have a link up here for that as well. Don't forget if they say that you have not taken care of your verification email, check your Gmail and see where that's at. Even call me over to help you get signed in. But I need you signed in so that it has your name up here or it says you. Once you're to this spot, it's your job to find something awesome on Thingiverse. You can look at these pictures, but I enjoy searching. Today I'm going to type dino, and when I hit dino, let's see what kind of things are in here. You can see there's a dinosaur, there's dino, tiny little dinosaur puzzles it looks like. Each one of these is unbelievably cool. Find whatever you think is neat, and don't just search dino, search things you care about. Cars, planes, characters from TV shows, anything that you like. And then when you click one, if you think it's interesting, I need you to save it to a collection. To do that, I want you to hit the word collect, I want you to hit the down arrow, and I want you to create a new collection. I want your connection to be labeled five things. You can do the number five things. I cannot because I already made one called five things. When I hit save, this will have been collected to my five things collection. So now your job is to go back and find five awesome things. My second search is going to be elephant. When I hit elephant and I could look for more dinosaurs, I'm just going to scroll through the pages and pages of awesome elephants until I find one that I think is utterly fantastic. When you do find the one you like, once again, you click it. You do have to wait. You'll notice down here it says waiting for Thingiverse. Sometimes it does take a little time. And then once again, you collect it. Make sure you put it in the right one. You can see there's my old five things. Here's my new five things, and I'm going to save it. You can have more than five things, but for the lesson, you need five things. And then when you're all done, I need you to go back to My Collections by clicking your name. And in the My Collections, I want you to find the Five Things Collection. Here's my old one. Here's my new one. And when you launch it, you need to make sure that you have at least five things. You can see that I have six awesome things, but that is fine as well. And you need to turn in a screenshot. Now, you can get your screenshot with Nimbus if you've got that. You can also use the sweet snipping tool that we've been using all the time. Make sure that you've got your account saved up in there. You show them all and you hit save. Once again, we put those little critters in our download or our H drive. That is also called documents. I'm going to stick with the download folder and I'm going to call this five things. With that saved, you can close the little snipping tool, go back to your classes, find your assignment and upload it. So under classwork, remember we always use the classwork tab. Down here is the essentials and this is the five things lesson. Once again, we hit view assignment. We hit add and we want to add a file. We look in our downloads folder by hitting select device, downloads, and boom, there is our five things. Upload. Wait patiently for it to allow us to turn it in. And hit that turn in button one more time. And then pat yourself on the back for finding something awesome. Alrighty, friends, so if you found something amazing, I will also let you share that in the class comments. Make sure you just do it like this. Find the one that you thought was most cool. I'm going to go with my Detroit Lions one. And then I'm going to copy the link up here at the top. Simply do right click copy and then back in our lesson. I want you to type comments below. Make sure you give it a label. And then after you type the label, give it a space. And then I did control C and control V so I could paste that in. And then boom, 
we'll be able to actually click on people's links and see awesome things that we have found on Thingiverse. Alrighty friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.